Hello everyone, my name is Yellow and welcome to episode 102 of season 2 of WWE Supercard. So it's been a few days and that's because I said I was taking a break since the last event finished and <clears throat> today is the first day I've played in a few days um, and that is because the ring domination event is here and it is for that guy up there which is The Rock and uh, that's all great and everything. I'm also in a King of the Ring, I started that earlier on today, 10 hours ago and I'm currently 8 and 2, which is not too bad. There is actually quite a few people in this one. There's about 8 people in this one, which is halfway, obviously. Um, so there's still quite a few bots too. But I did lose two matches. One Alex here, who's also on 8 and 2. So I have a better diva. Um, Jack Sawyer Jack Swagger. He got lucky. Uh, I got lucky with the Undertakers. Then he has a better tag team there. And he also has another better tag team. So his tag team's much better than mine. Um, so that's how I lost to him. And then my other loss was to Bane, who is currently joined first, I believe. Um, who, he has a better tag team than me. Uh, my reigns beat his reigns. Uh, my diva beat his diva. His Undertaker, Undertaker beat my swagger, and then he has a better tag team again. So, again, another person who beat me because of tag teams. But apart from that, I've been okay, I guess. I am joined second. Oh, I thought Bane was joint first, but he's only he's first on his own. There you go. So Bane's first, I'm joint second along with Colt, AJ, D and Alex. And then there's a few other people here too. And then, you know, a few others. And that's it. So yeah, that's how it's going. But I'm up against the bottom bottom person, Kayoko, next on 0 and 10, so I haven't refreshed that match. Yeah, is my team as it was last King of the Ring. I still haven't pulled a pro because I haven't been playing as much. But ring domination. So, the legendary is Seth Rollins. I have him. The survivor is Finn Balor, who I have one of. So this makes a pro. The only thing is, he's a left arrow. The Rock is also another left arrow. Now, if we go into King of the Ring quickly, I have a left arrow. I have a left arrow. I have an up, up up and then these two are the ones I want to get rid of. If I get two more left arrows in the next two weeks where's the tag teams gonna be? Because I have nothing that is compatible right now. Nothing at all once I get rid of these two. I need a down arrow, I need a right arrow and the game just isn't giving away any. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm not pulling any so I'm just gonna carry on doing as many King of the Rings as possible I guess and just hoping I pull one because after I get Finn Balor, I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with him in the team. I really don't. I'm going to have an uncompatible tag team, but it is going to be Survivor Pros at least. But it's going to be uncompatible. And everyone now in Survivor King of Rings seem to have compatible tag teams, which is not good. Because I am kind of falling behind on that regard, which isn't great. But um, that's just kind of how it is right now. And it's, it's not great. But I'm still holding my own because I still do have a Survivor Pro Diva in Naomi and not too many people have a Survivor Pro Diva yet. I'm not running into too many, so that's a good thing. Um, but on the the grand scheme of things, it's, it's not ideal. I would rather have some more tag teams, which I'm just not getting, so... Yeah, not great. But anyway, I win this match 6-3. Let's see if I can get a piece of Balor here. Um, so I'm trying to keep things symmetrical like I do on all of my ring domination events so uh, let's get them and these and then finally last two let's get these on the outsides again and it looks like we're gonna get nothing yep we got nothing if we win the next match though we will get a piece so we're taking on big sin big sin let's see how we can do against him. Hopefully we can get the win, but who knows. So, The Rock is the Ring Domination card. He is the next event card on the list of cards to get. And honestly, he looks great. He looks like the best card. Um, he will be the best uh, Survivor card yet. And I worked it out earlier. Just on base stats alone, if you compare them to the other event cards that there have been so far, just on base stats, he has better power, speed, and charisma 
than Undertaker and Jack Swagger. And he has better speed and charisma than Roman Reigns. Which makes him, as you can probably tell, a great, great card. He only likes toughness. His toughness isn't as good as any of the three. But, to be fair, all the other event cards so far have been for power toughness boosts. And that's why they're so good. The Rock is power charisma and his charisma is great. Like, you're not going to beat him in charisma at all. So all of you who made any of those three event cards charisma based, you're out of luck because The Rock is going to beat all of them. Every single one of them. And yeah, that's why I didn't make any of my cards um, complete out in speed or charisma. I made some of them good in speed and charisma, but I didn't base them into speed and charisma at all. I made all of them good in power and toughness, as you can tell right here if you look at the stats. Everyone always has better power and toughness than their speed and charisma on each and every one of the cards. Undertaker is the closest with his high charisma. Um, Reigns actually has a boost on charisma right now, so his stats might not be perfect. Um, but yeah, Undertaker has pretty high charisma because I did that on purpose. Um, but you should never, ever, ever, ever... Like, I know a lot of people made Jack Swagger a speed charisma card. Why? It's... You're basing your cards on the ones that you've got. You're not thinking about the future events. There is always going to be future events where there's going to be a charisma card, where there's going to be a speed card. So don't base your cards for, for what you have now. Base them for future events. Yes, a speed charisma jack swagger will be good between the time you got the pro and the time the next event is out. But until then, well, after then, it's going to be terrible because it's going to be like a speed charisma card or whatever. There isn't a speed one yet, so if you have made a speedy Jack Swagger, then congratulations. It's still going to be good for a while. But there will be a speed event card eventually, and it's just going to completely ruin your Jack Swagger card. It's not going to be good. And if you've done that to any of the event cards, if you've made any of the three a speed or charisma based card, it's ruined. Um, and The Rock is going to completely destroy anyone with a, um, with a speed, well, with charisma, even including my Undertaker, it's going to be amazing charisma, it's going to be really good, so I can't wait to get The Rock, like, I'm not his biggest fan, um, the fact he's come back for WrestleMania, uh, I'm not, uh, it's kind of, to me it's like, but why, I get it, I get that he's a big name, I get that he was huge, years ago and he still is but why does he have to keep coming back why we have all seen like previous matches that he has had in previous WrestleManias over the past few years and have they been great N no they have been okay at best like the two matches he had against Cena were there anything special definitely not they were okay matches at best because The Rock isn't as good as he used to be. It's, it's a simple fact. He doesn't he doesn't wrestle every week in, week out like he used to do. So he's just not as good as he used to be. And honestly, I would be more than happy if he just didn't wrestle again. Or if he did wrestle, actually meant something. Instead of him just announcing himself, Oh, I'm, I'm going to be appearing at WrestleMania this year. Who am I facing? Well, I don't know yet. We'll probably have to build a storyline or something around it. But... I will be appearing at WrestleMania, I will be wrestling at WrestleMania. But yeah, it means nothing. It means nothing at all. And no matter who faces The Rock, it means nothing at all because The Rock is gonna leave straight away. Like CM Punk said himself, The Rock's just gonna leave. And whoever he faces is gonna still be there the next night on Raw. And that's how I kinda feel. Why is why is the Rock appearing for no reason? He should never have announced it. They should have built up something, um, you know, anything at all would have done. But they just didn't. He just he kind of announced it himself, and then that's that. He's appearing now. But if they actually built something up, like if they started Twitter, even if they did like a Twitter feud with between the Rock and someone else, like they kept they kept tweeting each other, saying stuff about each other, and then finally, like. Whoever he's fit, like, like, let's say it's, 
uh, I don't know. For example, let's just say it's Dolph Ziggler. It's not going to be Dolph Ziggler, but let's just say it's Dolph Ziggler. And he was trash talking him on Twitter all the time. And then eventually, Dolph started calling him out on Raw and everything. And then The Rock was scheduled to have an appearance. You know, like months later, months later after this whole feud, just, you know, they, they like, say Dolph brought it up and he started saying stuff on Raw about him and everything. And then it was kind of forgotten about, but they still kept on tweeting each other. And then eventually The Rock has an appearance, maybe a month or two later. And then The Rock brings it up on Raw about the person he's uh, he's been feuding with. Like Dolph Ziggler, I say it's Dolph Ziggler. And then Dolph Ziggler comes down in the ring. And then they start trash talking in the ring. And then they kind of have a mini brawl, maybe, potentially. Or maybe The Rock comes back for a second event, like he's scheduled for two events. Or whatever, and then on the second one, they announce a match, and he wants it to be huge. He wants it to be in WrestleMania, and then is this wise? This is not wise. I don't need to risk it. Um, but yeah, then they announce it for WrestleMania, and it's like, oh my god, The Rock and Dolph Ziggler fighting at WrestleMania. That's gonna be a great match. After all this stuff that they've been talking about each other on Twitter and then on Raw and stuff, and now they're gonna have a match at WrestleMania to decide whatever but no he's just said yeah I'm wrestling at Wrestlemania and that's it we don't know who he's fighting we don't know why he's fighting apart from the fact <laughs> WWE obviously think he's gonna be a big draw then you're gonna get all that money but it seems like a wasted opportunity to me very much even even that whole Twitter scenario that is not a good idea that is low barrel ideas that is not great, you know, having them feud on Twitter and then they do a random call out on Raw and then they have a match at WrestleMania, that is low barrel stuff, but it is better than what they have done by just announcing that The Rock is going to have a match because now, what are they going to do? The Rock's going to come out one week soon before WrestleMania probably or even months before WrestleMania, he's going to come out and someone's going to challenge him to a match and that's going to be it. No feud beforehand. Everyone now knows that The Rock is scheduled to appear. The Rock's gonna be out saying, oh, I'm gonna have a match at WrestleMania. And then someone will come out and challenge him to a match. And that's gonna be it for the build-up. I feel like they've, they've lost out on what they could have done. I really do, but what do I know, I guess? What do I know? You know, I only watch wrestling most of the time. Um, but yeah, since I'm not a wrestler and I don't work for any any wrestling company or anything like that, I guess I don't know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, wasted opportunity, probably. I think so. Um, but that's just my opinion. So it would be great though if this man right here, Stone Cold, was the one to challenge him because my God, I would love Stone Cold to come back. If Stone Cold announced himself to be at WrestleMania. That will be something different. When was the last time Stone Cold had a match? I, I don't even know when the last time Stone Cold had a match. It was a long, long time ago. If uh, that happened, that would be great. That would be so good. But it was The Rock. Everyone's seen The Rock before. And it's nothing new. It's nothing new. Imagine if Stone Cold came out and challenged The Rock. That would be something. I'd be rooting for Stone Cold every day of the week. I just prefer Stone Cold over The Rock. I love The Rock in movies, but I'm sick of him wrestling now. I kind of am. Oh, that, that seems bad. I've already said all this stuff before. I'm not a fan of The Rock wrestling anymore. He should stick to movies, which I feel, I still feel like he should. He makes good films. I like him in most of the films he does, but I just don't want to see him wrestle anymore. Is that, is that selfish? Like, if he hadn't wrestled for years, like Stone Cold hasn't wrestled for years, and then he finally said, I'm having one more match. I'll be, yes, The Rock is coming back having one more match. But now it's like, he's at that age where... Well, actually, how old is The Rock? I'm going to find out how old The Rock is right now. The Rock age. Let's see, how old is The Rock? The Rock is 43 years old. Um, you know, that, that's he's five years older than Cena. Cena is not going to last... Well, actually, Cena probably... <laughs> Cena is going to be the Ric Flair of WWE. How have I reached the car limit again already? But, um, yeah... The Rock is kind of at that age now where he probably shouldn't be wrestling and that's why he isn't. Like he's 43, you know, obviously people have wrestled lower than that. But 
not on a weekly basis, he probably shouldn't be, kind of thing, I don't know, but yeah, that's kind of how I feel, hmm, I don't know, but I'm gonna end this here, so ring domination, it's going strong, what do you think about The Rock returning for Wrestlemania, how, how do you feel about it? I feel like now it's just greediness because it's like he's not a special event. He does WrestleManias nearly every year now. And that's it. He goes away, disapp disappears again. It's nothing special, but yeah, he's back again. Everyone got hyped for The Rock for another mediocre at best match against whatever opponent is booked to face him. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Bit of a longer one. Ring domination is here. How are you doing? Let me know in the comments below. And um, if you did enjoy this video, please like it up, subscribe down below if you haven't already done that. I will see you all next time.